Well, it's something you think will never hit close to home. This morning, a student and teacher are still in the hospital, and a female student who was grazed by a bullet was treated and is back home this morning. The suspected shooter is 18 year old Tim Timothy Simpkins, a junior at the school. His relatives took to social media yesterday to explain that he'd been bullied. He's in jail this morning, being held on $75,000 bond. Nicole is live at the Mansfield ISD Performing Arts Center, where counselors will be available for students today. And Nicole, this is also where parents were finally reunited with their children yesterday. Yes, Karen, it, this is exactly that location. And yesterday we saw a lot of tears, a lot of hugs, and a lot of relief from parents and their children. After a really terrifying morning, students sending text messages no parent ever wants to receive. I was like, there's a school shooting, come like pick us up, I don't think if you can. And it's just like, do you need us to pick you up? We are coming. Your heart really goes out to students and their parents as they experienced the unknown yesterday. Fortunately and miraculously, there was no loss of life. As students and staff were hunkered down inside Timberview High School, Three people were injured and taken to Medical City, Arlington. A 15 year old who was shot and had to have surgery for his injuries at last check is in ICU and in critical condition. A 25 year old English teacher identified by his family as Calvin Pettit also shot in the back while trying to break up the fight. We're told he is in good condition after suffering broken ribs and a collapsed lung. But so many parents are thanking God this morning that their prayers were answered. Uh, the adrenaline set and my emotions were, yeah, yeah. It could have been worse, but we thank God it wasn't. Sorry, Mike. Thank God it wasn't. And classes are canceled today at Timberview High School. In fact, the campus is closed as this investigation continues. I can tell you counseling sessions are available here at the Performing Arts Center, also at Word of Truth Church in Arlington. They're also making a virtual counseling session available from 11 to 12. That's the very latest from Mansfield this morning. Nicole Jacobs, Karen, back into you. Thank you, Nicole.